Hey, hi everyone, this is Gail here from GailBotomyOnline.com and today I just want to show you a brand new plugin. Uh, well, new to me, perhaps not that so new to, to everybody else, but uh, I think that you'll really love this particular plugin. And um, it's a keyword plugin, and the reason I love it, I'm about to show you why. I love it. And this is the new blog post which you will see this video on, I am sure, if not on YouTube. However, I've called it a uh, keyword niche finder and it's just fantastic. So let me just go show you. I'll just do a, a, a new post and I'll just show you. Now, it's, I'm not going to show you how to install the plugin because it's really easy. You just buy it. It is a bought one. You buy it, you download it and then you just do the normal upload through the plugins all right so you just go to plugins and go add new very simple so let me show you how this works and let's just do um i'm, I'm actually not sure what i'm going to do we'll do something to do with fan pages shall we so let's just go fan pages let's just say i just can't think of a a particular keyword that might um, you know might rank so fan pages let's just go um, how to make fan pages let's just see if that will come up with anything and then all we have to do is we click on this little keyword uh, suggestion thing and then it just comes up and it goes and has a look now I'm going to pause it while it does it because sometimes it can take just a little while Actually, I just changed it to Facebook fan pages and um, because the other one brought up lots of other things that I didn't think was very interesting. So you'll notice here, just like a, I'm just going to show you this here. Look, we have red and then we have orange and then we have green. All right. So those of you familiar with Easy Niche Finder will like the color ideas. Now we have here, um, I've put uh, Facebook fan pages and we've got uh, a Facebook login, which is probably not what we want to go after. Funny Facebook fan pages. Some people obviously just wanting to look at that. Uh, Facebook fan pages. Now, this is a great thing. This tells you how many links you've got to compete with. So 354 uh, links, link backlinks is, is pretty high to go after. And, uh, and so, you know, I wouldn't uh, necessarily go after that. Look, I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on this because there are really uh, some very good videos and uh, you'll be able to work this out yourself. But the key, of course, as we know, is to stick within somewhere where we know we're going to be able to work. And uh, this is around uh, just under 100,000 would be good. Round about this would be OK. But having over 100 uh, backlinks, you're going to have to work quite hard to um, compete with it just quickly. And so I can say that in here there really isn't much that I would be interested in. So what I'd have to do is come up with some better phrases up here. The other thing I can do, let's just say because of time, let's just say that I decided um, that, oh by the way, look there's little question marks here and it tells you what all that means, all right? So you can go and have a look in there and um, find exactly what you're looking for. So um, we've got here, um, let's just say we want to have a look here, top Facebook fan pages. So we click on that and now that's changed up there. So um, and the other thing it will often do is when you put that up there, you click on there and now it'll go and look for some other keywords. All right, so it's gone and found a few more, but I've probably not picked a very good keyword phrase here and I would be definitely um, spending some more time on this. But however, let's just say that uh, we found something in here like funny Facebook fan pages. Let's just say that's what we were going after. So there's a little button here that says add a tag. So you click on that. I'm going to show you where that goes in a minute. Let's just say pretend that I'm going to go for these particular ones here. All right, so they really go along with what I'm looking for. And so I just click on all those tags. And if you come over here and look down here, you'll see that it's put all the tags in down here. And that's pretty cool. And um, when you want to get rid of this, you know, you just, you've had, um, you, you've done everything you want in here. The way I got rid of it, I guess is another way. I just saved my draft and then it went away. Uh, meta tags as well. So it's a very, very good program. And you'll find that once you start using it, that you will you will not want to give up using it. So just one thing that you do have to note here is you'll note that, just say I changed to top Facebook fan pages, but I put in here 
how to make fan pages. If I decided I was going to go with that, then I need to get rid of that and I need to put that in, okay? So you just have to remember that if you do change it, then that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to change it in here as well because it's already set the permalinks. So you need to change the permalinks. So you just click on the edit button just like that and then just put the keyword phrase in here that you're going to go with from up on here and just go OK and just make sure that's done all right that's quite important so there you go guys this is a great plugin I know you're gonna love it take some time and watch a couple of the videos that are there it's um it's just so good It'll make uh, doing the SEO on page so much better for you because you'll get the proper keywords and what's more it's all in here you don't have to be going out searching all the different having lots of different browsers open as you do the searching so hopefully that helps guys and uh, have fun with it Look forward to hearing from you about uh, this particular uh, plugin. Make sure that uh, you, when you purchase it, that you do have a WordPress site because it is a plugin. Have fun with it, guys, and uh, I'll see you.